Hi guys, we're delighted to be playing at the first Swell Festival in Portrush. Um, thanks to Gemma Reid for asking us and um, to Causeway Coast of Glens Council. It was a great week actually and very aptly named with the surfing that has gone in Portrush this week has been epic and the surfers have been amazing and really it was entertainment in itself. So um, we're going to start off by playing two jigs. The first jig we learnt from the playing of a concertina player in Clare, Tim Collins. And the second jig is called the Dunny Rock Jig. Right, one, two, three. <laughs>
now we're going to follow on with a reel called The Shaskeen and a tune, a reel called Molly Eamon Moore, which was um, written by a great fiddle player and composer from South Armagh, Josephine Keegan. Um, she's written masses of tunes um, and this is one of our favourites. It's called Molly Eamon Moore. So we'll start off with The Shaskeen. <clears throat> Ready? <laughs> Slug of water here for a second. <clears throat> um, we're going to do try a couple of barn dances now. They are both called McKenna's, as far as we know, and they've kind of been resurrected this last wee while, just in Port Stewart and Port Rush here. There's a few um, musicians that start playing this again, so it's fresh in our minds. So we thought we'd give it a go. So um, these are McKenna's barn dances. Excuse me, that's it.
Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <sighs> the awkward silence. All right. So we're going to do a wee tune now called um, <clears throat> Maggie Brown's. And it's actually a planksty, but in recent years it's been played kind of like almost in jig rhythm. Well, it's essentially is a jig rhythm. So we heard uh, a recording of Frankie Gavin and Finn playing it the other day and it kind of put it back in our heads again. So we're going to give it a go. And then we're going to try a reel after it called the Black Blackberry uh, Blossom. See how that goes. <laughs> with a slow air, which I wrote for a fiddle player called Robbie McLeanan from Armagh. And Robbie works on the buses and 
he used to live to get out into the countryside with his dogs and go over the fields. And so I also, when I wrote the tune, I imagined Robbie being um, enticed by the underworld and the she and the fairies. So I thought I imagined him going out and I actually wrote it in as well with 2010, the great big white winter that had Ireland. So I thought that the start of the tune is Robbie wandering through the fields um, and then he gets enticed by this beautiful music and then he gets, so the second part then is he, he's enticed so much that he gets taken away and it goes into the wonderland of the sort of the white snow that was in 2010 because we used to live in, in Armagh with, through the drumlands. Um, there's a lot of stories in Irish folklore about people being enchanted by the she or the other world. Um, many times there, there's stories of men, there's one story of a man walking through a field um, he goes down to the bottom of the field and suddenly there's this, this inway of water and uh, a boat awaits for him. And he actually gets on the boat and goes to a totally different land. And he actually changes gender. He becomes a woman of the house and he's placed in the house and he's taking care of all the children. And he doesn't realise this until sort of the spell wears off and then he finds himself back at the inlet and goes across home. And it's um, he's, years have gone by. So this is for Robbie McLeanan. Um, and it's called The Wanderings of Robbie. Um.
<laughs> All right. So we'll try a few slip jigs now. Um, the first one's called a fish fluck. The second one is in can. And Kanamamwana, I'm just not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then the last slip jig uh, is a tune that we learned from a um, fantastic Donegal fiddle player, uh, Breach Harper. Um, but the tune itself is linked with um, a Donegal fiddle player called Martin McGinley. So we have no name for it. So whiskey, something to do with whiskey, no? I couldn't tell you. Maybe. Okay. 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 So we'll give it a go. Um, I'm going to play the wrong tune.
we're coming towards the end. So we are, so we've another couple of sets left. So we'll do a couple of tunes now. Um, we learnt from a lifelong friend of ours, Aidan Prunty, who sadly passed away last December, and we miss him dearly. So we learnt these two tunes from Aidan a long time ago. We used to play, um, myself and Sarah played every Saturday night with Aidan in our math for God knows how many knows how many years together, you know. So one night, anyhow, he played these two tunes that he learnt whilst living in Holland in the early 80s and around that time. Um, so they're, the first one's called The Little Pig and the second one is called The Flying Reel, but they're actually like barn dances. So I don't know where, you, to be honest, uh, nobody uh, seems to be playing these at all. So um, it was great that um, he actually passed them on to us before before his passing. As I say, he's in our hearts every day and we think of him. I mean, truly, truly miss him. So um, we play these tunes for Pat if uh, Pat is watching.
to introduce the last one there? Yes. Sure. Last set is a set of reels. And Martin's going to start off with Hanley's Tweed. It's a tune again that we would have played a lot in Katie and Armagh. Would have been a big session tune there. Um, Robbie, the fiddle player I was talking about earlier, it was one of his favourite tunes, or is one of his favourite tunes. And then we're going to go on to your reel. Um, we actually can't remember the name of it, which is quite a lot of times we can't remember of anything, the names of anything, but there's a man called Dean Warner, a um, piano accordion player who played this reel. It's quite a common reel, so we just call it Dean's reel. And then we're going to finish off with the pinch of snuff. So I want to just thank all the, the crew as well for all their hard work and uh, and sound and cameras and everything they got. And Stevie. He's kind of an, an adopted Meehan anyway, so, <laughs> but thanks to the big man. Mm. He's our twin. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty. Do you just want
That's us. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs>